Hey guys, this is the ice test. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. We've got a couple different kinds of metals out here on the table. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some ice cubes on these. And ice is supposed to melt on silver faster than anything else, but I think it's gonna actually melt pretty fast on copper as well. And one of these is a silver plated copper coin. The one I just put it on is brass. This one's actually steel. And this one over here is just a, a control, which is gonna be our table. So what are we looking at here? So it looks like our silver coin, our real silver coin is melting pretty quick, but it looks almost like our silver plated copper coin is melting faster. But I'm gonna say they're about the same and it looks like our copper coin over here is actually doing a lot of work as well. Now this one down here is steel, melting pretty slowly. The brass one's also melting pretty slowly. And it looks like the one on our control surface, just the table here, isn't melting at all. Cool. So if it's silver or copper, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the ice test is gonna be pretty similar. But it looks like the steel and the brass are, uh, they're also melting, but maybe not as fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a, a cool way that you can use this test uh, on your 10 ounce bars, which I, I think is actually cooler than this one. Uh, general conclusion, it looks like the ice test is just gonna be like another one of those eliminator tests. So it'll tell you uh, whether it's fake, but not necessarily if it's real. Even on the plated copper one over here, it still looks like it melted pretty quick. Cool. Now I'll show you that next test in just a second. Real quick, this is about 30 seconds to 45 seconds after we filmed the last one. And it looks like they're all pretty much all melted except for the one here on the table. Hey guys, so we got everything cleaned up. This is a 10 ounce bar. I'm gonna put a, a, an ice cube on one side of it and hold on to the other. And what's really cool about silver, and it looks like it'll work with copper as well, is that the ice is gonna melt pretty quickly. And it's not just getting cold. I can already feel almost ice cold in my fingertips. So the cold is traveling very, very quickly through the bar, which is really, really interesting. So this whole piece of metal here got cold very quickly. Yeah, which is why they say it's a good thermal conductor. So if you have a 10 ounce bar, it might work on the smaller ones too, but definitely on the 10 ounce bar or larger, you should be able to feel that cold really quickly move through the whole metal. Cool, hope you guys are having a good day. Happy hunting. Uh, test your stacks.